All right, what is up my brothers? In this video, we're gonna be talking about the most useful tool in your toolbox as a guy when it comes to dealing with drama in your life or brought into it anyway by women. The tool is called a soft next. Some of you may have heard about this, others may not have. This is an important one. It's probably one of the most important tools you can use in your toolbox when a woman in your life, whether she's somebody you're dating in a relationship with, marriage is a little bit different, living with is different, but I'll talk about that a little bit towards the end. But Women like to manufacture drama, right? There's no question about it. Um, in the absence of drama in their lives, they will actively manufacture indignation. We've known this for a while. Uh, it is what it is, which is cool, fine, whatever. Let's set that aside. The thing being is sometimes the frequency of the drama and the stress they introduce into your life becomes too much or too high. Um, I recall the other day I was talking to this guy that was telling me about this um, marriage he was in and he basically described it like the 72 hour rule like every every 72 hours she would make up some shit to fight about and you know that would stress his life out quite a bit so um, you know if it's at that frequency it's pretty bad you should never let it get to that point but essentially all the tool is is making your attention uh, absent or scarce for a short period of time, um, which is different from a hard next. A soft next is basically withdrawing your attention for somewhere between, I'm gonna say three or four days. It could be a little shorter, it could be a little bit longer, depending on the nature of the soft next. But uh, the soft next is quite uh, useful simply because we know that women love the attention of men and your main tool is of course going to be to withdraw your attention from her um, attention and validation is the currency in the realm for girl world always has been so you know you have a girl that stresses you out over something and you need to try to correct the behavior you're not going to negotiate it you're not going to argue where there's no point in trying to use something like reason with a woman women don't let uh, logic and reason get in the way of their emotions, right? So the soft next is effective because you don't respond to text, phone calls, you don't make yourself available to see her for a certain period of time. And then once you reconnect after that, then typically the relationship uh, resumes as normal, right? Like, you know, she should have learned her lesson that you're not gonna tolerate that crap and that you will become absent uh, from the equation. And um, she, she should step in line if she sees you as her best possible option. Uh, if she sees you as a beta pleb that she's not particularly interested in or has low interest in you, it probably won't work as well. I'll be honest with you. She has to have strong, genuine, burning desire for you. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the highest level of desire she can possibly have, it needs to be a nine or a 10. Soft necks work very well in that environment. They don't work so well if she's got like a six on the desire scale for you. Um, they're just not that effective. So just, just being honest with you. So don't don't be like messaging me after we go, I tried the soft necks and it didn't work, Rich, what happened? And, you know, as I'm reading your message, I can tell that you're bending the knee to her all the time and trying to placate her every women desire. So you have to be super, super careful with that. So that's really all that it is. Soft nexting is just uh, making yourself scarce, unavailable to her. Uh, she doesn't need to know where you're at. You do not respond to her. You definitely put some distance there intentionally. And then when you do reconnect, you let her know why. You know, I'm I'm a guy of vision, purpose, passion. You know, I'm on my mission. I'm not gonna let your insert whatever it was uh, ruin my day, week, life, whatever it is that you're doing. Insert, you know, whatever reason is. And then you just kind of carry on. You don't negotiate it. You don't discuss it any further than that. It's comply or goodbye is the way that it should be. Now, I also mentioned that if you're living with a woman, this is not particularly effective. So listen, if you've been married for 10 years and you've been, or you've been living with a chick for a few years and she's stressing you out, she's bringing drama into your life unnecessarily and you try to, like you can't soft next her because you're living in the same house. It's not like you can make yourself absent or disappear. There's certain things that you can do. You know, you can work later, you can just spend more time at the gym or a dojo, not answer to her. Um, a, a more extreme example would be if you have somewhere to go, like if you have a lake house or a cottage, you can go stay there for a few days. That might be um, a somewhat effective way to try to soft next her but it's a lot more difficult. So you don't want to let it get to the point where you try to soft next a woman that you're in an LTR or a marriage with. Uh, this is like the drama behavior, the, the, the bad behavior that might pop up from time to time is something that you should deal with and try to course correct before you get to that stage, if that makes sense. Anyway, very useful tool. 
I know some guys already know what it is. Many others don't know what it is. There's probably somebody out there that needs to see this video. So smash the like button, leave a comment below. Uh, there's a few other tools in the toolbox which I can probably touch on that I might make future videos on. So let me know if you want to hear more about those. Uh, also pinned in the top comment, there's links, all the useful links there. So links if you want to join my community, book a coach and call, request a video, uh, Amazon books that I recommend, all that good stuff. So check that out pinned in the top comment. See you guys in the next video. Peace.